Now we all know the big name riders that are currently dominating the racing scene in cyclocross on both the women's and the men's side of the sport. But the question that comes up often is, who is gonna take the charge and lead the way for the next generation? I feel like that's a question that we always hear constantly. So today, we're gonna take a look at some of the future stars of the sport, and if history is anything of a predictor, these riders could perhaps be our future road and mountain bike world champions to come. Oh, and if you haven't yet downloaded the GCN app and also grabbed the race pass inside of the app, you've got to check it out. The race pass has so much live, on-demand racing coverage and analysis, it makes being able to watch your favorite events easier than ever. As always, territory restrictions do apply, so definitely have a look at what events are covered in your country and get to download it. Over the years, we've seen cyclocross stars like Lars Boom, Zednik Stebar, and more recently, Wout Van Aert and Matthew Vanderpool. Not to mention Julian Alaphilippe and Peter Sagan also dabbling with cyclocross in their early days. On the women's side, Pauline ferrand Prevot, Mariana Voss, and Christine Majuris, as well as many other riders come from a background of racing cyclocross to then go out and tear it up out on the road circuit and mountain bike circuit. So is it the fast switch muscle fibers? Is it a rider's DNA? Or is it the technical abilities that cyclocross teaches a rider? Cyclocross demands riders to be explosive out of every turn and have incredible technical ability under pressure in order to take the win. And they can't make any mistakes. Most road racers take a proper off season in September right when the cyclocross season heats up. So with that, let's take a look at some of the best up and coming riders in the sport right now. Let's start out with the young Dutch rider, Puck Peters. She can wheelie, she can bunny hop, she's super fast. She first came to my attention last year at the Tabor World Cup in the Czech Republic when she rode to an incredible ninth place finish in the elite women's category. At that time, she was just 17 years old. And that wasn't her only result last season. She actually rode five elite World Cups and only once finished outside the top 20. She also won the European Championships as a junior as well. Now, for fans of the sport, seeing a rider at such a young age be starting to look at the top of the sport with so much time left, well, it wasn't only the fans that were jaw dropped by this. It was actually the squad of Matthew Vanderpols in Alpes and Fenix that locked up Peter's signature. Now, 18 years old, this is one name that if you don't know already, you definitely need to jot down and make sure you're on the lookout for. Now for every great duel, there has to be a rival. And in this case, for Puck Peters, it's the junior women's cyclocross world champion, Sharon Van Android. Peters signed for Alpes and Fenix, Android to Sven Nace's Telenet Balawasa team. And with that, she was able to race as a stagiaire with the Trek Segafredo women's world tour team on the road. Now, Van Android won the silver medal in the junior time trial world championships on the road last year, so she knows a thing or two about skinny tires. But back on the cross bike last season, she also finished three times in the top 10 in the elite women's world cups. Now last year, when Puck Peters did that incredible ride in Tabor for ninth, right behind her in 10th place, Sharon Van Andrei. And when these two riders have squared off over the past couple of seasons, it's been a back and forth duel. And that duel is certain to keep fans of the sport entertained for many years to come. All right, keeping with young women inside the sport, next up is American rider Madigan Monroe, also known as Maddie, the junior national champion, Pan American junior champion, who last year came third at the junior world championships behind Van Android and Puck Peters. And now I know you might be thinking, man, you just went down the list at the Worlds and these are the top three riders, you don't know anything, you'd be right. But the truth is, is that each of these riders has had an incredible trajectory through the sport so far. And to be able to stamp that uncertainty, Monroe just recently signed for the Trek factory racing team and now has the support to be in Europe racing this season head to head with other riders from the birth year of 2002. Riders from that age though are starting to enter the under 23 races. So as I said before, they're now starting to enter the elite races as well. Last season, Monroe jumped into a couple of elite events on the international scale. When the show came to her big town of Boulder, Colorado, she was able to go head to head with the USA's 15 time national champion, Katie Compton, and newly crowned national champion, Clara Hansinger. Monroe finished only five seconds off second and third places on the weekend each day during those races. So each of these riders that we've gone over, as you typically see with juniors, has had 
flashes of complete brilliance when the day was right and their legs were good. So here's to hoping that we're lucky enough to see things come together for Monroe to go head to head with Peters and Van Anroy for many years to come. Now, on the men's side, one of the most interesting names has to be Thibaut Nace. Son of Sven Nace, he's already making headlines for his jaw-dropping performances in the elite races. Now, just this past weekend, racing in the second round of the FBS Cross Series, he finished an astounding fifth place among the elite men, putting some of the top talent in the discipline out the back. It was also a career best for him in the elite so far. Now, the junior world champion, who we got to know pretty well last year in a classic game of bike, is no slouch. His Instagram's full of big videos of him doing all kinds of crazy stuff from the gym to out on the bike. We also know that he watched his father dominate the cyclocross circuit back in the day. So needless to say, Thibaut has cyclocross running through his veins. He's won just about everything that a junior rider can, and this is gonna be his first season coming into the under 23s in the elites, and I think that we're all Pretty interested to see just how he does. Kevin Kuhn is a name that you're definitely going to want to remember. He's the World Cup overall winner last year in the under 23 ranks, and he finished second at the World Cyclocross Championships in Dubendorf, Switzerland. He's been constantly riding for the podiums in all of the under 23 races that he did last season, but when he's dipped his toes into the elite ranks, it's mainly been in his hometown of Switzerland. Now, this season, we're going to see Kuhn racing full time in the elite races, which can be a tricky transition. But during the season kickoff already this year in Bern, Switzerland, against a pretty deep field of talent, he's already finished on the podium in third place. Over the summer, Kuhn signed with the Tormans professional cyclocross team, joining Quinton Hermans and Corne Van Kessel under the guidance of former world champion Bart Welts. He's planning to kick his season off in early November in Belgium. Like I said earlier, for every Kevin Kuhn, there is a Ryan Camp. Now, Camp is the current under 23 world champion and is a name that you should start to recognize in the results sheets. Just this past weekend in Kruibeke of Belgium at the Polder Cross, which was the second race in the FES Cross series, Camp was on the front row looking smooth. He had on his world champ stripe down his white Ridley frame, and he also had on some world champion gloves. Now, before he became under 23 world champ, he placed third at the junior world championships in 2018. As a third year under 23 this season, we expect to see the Powell Salzen Bingle rider testing himself against the elite riders more and more this coming season. Next up is Anik Van Alf, and the 20-year-old up-and-comer from the Netherlands burst onto last year's scene for many fans of the sport at the St. Nicholas race when this young rider went head-to-head -head with the world champion at the time, Sana Khan. Now, Van Alphen has become known for her ability to jump barriers in races under pressure with ease. She used this technique out on the treacherous course of St. Nicholas to close down the gap that Sanakant had built up over the first half of the race. She connected with Sanakant, and then as the world champion slid out on an off camber, unleashed a massive attack that went all the way down to the finish line in a sprint finish that Van Alphen ultimately lost over the then world champion. But she did win over passionate cyclocross fans with her never give up attitude on that day. Now for this season, she's moved over to the Credi Shop Freestads Pro Team run by her mentor and former cross pro, Camille Vandenberg. And with that, she opened up her season with a bang, taking the first win of the season in the elites at the FES Cross locally. Inga van der Heiden is another one of the new generation of Dutch women whose names fall slightly in the shadows of world champion Celine Del Carmen Alvarado, Anna Marie Wurst, Yara Kasterlein, Lucinda Brand, and the rest of the great Dutch women that are out there racing right now. But it might not be for much longer. The 2019 world champion in the under 23s has slowly but surely been cranking out an impressive list of results of her own. Finishing on the podium last season in no less than six races with the elite women, Van der Heiden also took home the under 23 national title. The former world champion for the under 23s is now racing for the triple seven women's team of Anna Marie Wurst and Alice Maria Arzufi. So look for her to be picking up a few things and throwing down in the elite women's races this year. Oh, 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 
Kata Blanca Vaz hails from Budapest, Hungary and is 19 years old. She races road, mountain bikes, and of course, cyclocross. She's the current elite national champion on the road and she's the current elite national champion in cyclocross. This season, she's gonna be racing for the Proximus Alpha Motorhomes Dolcini program and she's been quietly tearing it up on all disciplines over the last few years. Just recently, she placed sixth at the under 23 World Cup in Novi Mesto on the mountain bike. And last year, she placed second to Marian Norbert Riverola at the under 23 Cross World Championships. Now in her first outing last season on the cross bike and just out of the junior ranks, she placed on the podium in the elite women's field at St. Nicholas and in Essen big cross races. So be on the lookout for Kata Blanca Voss and her Hungarian national champs jersey as this season gets underway. Ben Tullet is the 2018 and 2019 junior world champion. Now he followed up on that same feat that his countryman newly signed Ineos Grenadier Tom Pidcock did in 2017. Unfortunately though, for Tullet in April of 2019, he had a really bad crash where he broke his jaw in three different places, had a hairline fracture on his elbow, and had a huge impact on his spine. He's finally recovered from those injuries though, and Tullet is riding for the powerhouse team Alpha and Fenix. He's making the best of it as well because he's ridden some pretty big road races in 2020 next to his big team leader in Matthew Vanderpoel. He's actually been able to race in Flesh Wallone, Liege Baston, Liege as well, coming home in 35th and 53rd respectively in the past couple of weeks. It's not bad prep for the 19-year-old cyclocross two-time world junior champion, so we're gonna be looking out for Ben on some cyclocross start lists real soon. So that is a look at some of the top riders that you should be looking out for on the results sheets to see how they're coming along over the season and seasons to come. We'll be able to look back at this in the coming years and see if we were right or if we had just missed the mark. With so much talent coming up and so many riders to shine light on, it's inevitable that we did miss some names. So definitely let us know down in the comments if there's someone that you think should be on our radar that we missed but with so many hungry riders. The cyclocross scene is truly heating up for another great year. And cycling as a whole may benefit from the success that these riders have in cyclocross and take with them over to other disciplines within the sport. I wanna thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you next time.